Hello guys, it's Defender for you here and welcome to this month's free games that you get on the PlayStation Plus store. This is the first Invisible Ink for console edition. There's four this month of December and we're going to see them all now. So let's jump into this one and see what it's all about. If you Okay, well if you want to see any of these games um, more on the channel just let me know in the comments below hit that like button if you appreciate me showing you these be great to see which ones you are playing at the moment again they are all free so you might as well go grab them while you can all right let's get straight in Operator, we have a delicate situation here. Decker found himself some trouble on his day off. Something involving a whiskey bar and his big loud mouth. He's usually better at covering up after such indiscretions, but this time FTM security got the drop on him. They noticed his non-market augments, and now they're curious about where he got them. I'd like to leave him to sweat it out for a while, but we can't have this coming back on us. We're going to break him out. Incognito has activated his fail-safe neural uplink. I'm patching you through now. Okay. There he is. Wake him up. R1. There we go. Deco was captured. Again. Let's make sure he can walk. Okay. Let him catch his breath. But don't dally. They'll notice our intrusion soon. Okay. And turn. Get to the door. Get to the door. We don't have visibility on the hallway. You'll have to manually check for hostiles. Oh, there's someone. It's unlocked. Get him out and be careful not to alert the guard. Decker's tools should be in that safe. He'll need his neural disruptor to take down these guards. Right. And turn. Another slow day. Yeah, you just stay there. Thank you. Good. Now approach the guard from behind and neutralize him. How? Nice. Brutal, but effective. Proceed to the next door. Okay. Right, turn four. Peek first. No. Go through the door. Right. Warning. Right. Close the door to cover our tracks. If they catch us, we'll lose uplink again. Uh. Right, next door. It's all a bit um, very. Um... We're going to need power in order to hack their system. Jack that console for a quick boost. Good. That'll help us bypass any security devices we encounter. It's very. Um... So that's actually getting watched. And I just open the door. Oh. If that camera locks on, it'll alert the whole building. Okay. We need incognito to hack it. Okay. Do it. Camera compromised. It's eyes are ours now. Let's keep moving. Okay. Caution is our friend, operator. Get into position beside that door and scout the next room. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. That guard doesn't look like he's moving. Let's give him a reason to, shall we? Hey, did you see that? All right, he's coming. Make sure Decker is ready for him. Ready for him. Hey 
Nice work. We're almost there. Keep out of sight and we should be able to get out of there in one piece. And turn. Hold up. Incognito has detected danger around the next corner. Okay. Well then we're going to go back to this. Go back to here. And some powers. Right, incognito. So recon point against the wall. have enough power left for incognito to bypass that hardware perfect all right let's keep moving the teleporter is just up ahead get to it and we'll use it to return to the jet okay let's go Guard is wearing armor. Be careful, the disruptor won't work on him. We'll have to use his blind spots to slip by. Oh. What's his blind spots? Ah, that's how you do it. Okay. of the security detail. Observe his movements so there are no more surprises. Okay. Okay, how do we observe his... Looks like he's patrolling. No trouble as long as we stay behind cover and out of his sight. Okay. So we go here. We go end turn. Investigating area. Okay. Now we should put it straight there. There we go. Done. We're done here. Rendezvous with International and get ready for the next mission. We've got a lot more work to do. Well, there we go. Go me. Let's go. We'll do... What's this? Standard beginner. So this is actually the game now. So yes, this is Decker. Uh, Decca, sorry, this is uh, Invisible Ink. If you want to see more on the channel, please hit that like button and tell me in the comments below. But now we're going on to the next one. Here's the next game in this month's free games of December on the PlayStation Store. Stories, The Path of Destinies. New game. Once upon a time, the infamous rover Renardo plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. But the emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods, midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages, and no one ever returned. 
God the Ravens it. had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books. So they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with dropships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Bernardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. And that's where it begins. So let's get straight into it and see what this game's about. The kid was looking down, watching his city burn. Sorry, kid, Renato told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Ah, oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. So Renato had to. So run here after we go. Him. Protect Peter, Peter the Rabbit. I'm guessing. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner, which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, Renato said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens called and rushed at him. Okay. Uh, L. Okay. Who's next? Go. Right. So far, so good. A dropship flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. Reminds me a lot of Aim Square. Okay. Come on. Okay. Oh. Right, the gate of heroes. Someone's idea of a joke, making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels, or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking that damn book anywhere, and neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero's sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, right, but he had um, guts. Where was Renato going to get a hero sword? Right. Guessing down here. Reminds me a little bit of Crash Bandicoot, like the play style. Or and wind essence? <laughs> Perfect. Right. A hero sword. Q E D. So you actually crafting this, okay. It's quite cool. This is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook and she'd laughed at Bernardo's jokes. <coughs> no reason and then the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. Hmm. He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I harped, said the kid. Wise ass kid. Hey, look out behind you. Cute, said Renato. Oh, ravens. God damn it. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge 
and chase the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. Maybe if he meditated at that mm -hmm. altar there, he'd remember his old skills. How convenient. Okay, it's just telling me, yeah, I got one skill point and it's the hook that I want. It was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Okay, that's quite handy. And there was the Farfarer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the <laughs> Kester run in 12 <laughs> furlongs. Oh, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! Uh-oh. The kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its eye beam. You idiot. You idiot. The book was unburned. Next to it were the buckles from oh, the no. kid's shoes. And the kid-sized pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. Can I? What's in these boxes? Well, I need help. Oh. What was the big deal about this book, anyway? Maybe he should open it and Maybe. find out. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Running, rebel! Cored the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base! I will spare your life! It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven. A sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. Maybe he could. Ooh. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper. The legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky Ripper. Ah, cool. So you get to pick. You can make a new old friend or build the Sky Ripper. I think we should have friends. Ah, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble given time, but he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Right. Well, that was this game. If you want to see this on the channel and see the rest of the story, 
then let me know in the comments below I'll be more than happy to do the rest of the story it's very addictive like the, the actual um, guy reading it's really good I like the artwork as well it's very nice but yeah that's this game now on to the next if you have a history of epilepsy or seizures consult a doctor before use haha <laughs> I'm guessing it's like flashy images and ridiculous after the supernova exploded, SNRDA-69 enemies from all races started raiding our frontiers with no clue on the cause of this sudden universe hostility. A special force has been prepared to carry out a recon mission. You fly the RM-24. As a combat and defense specialist, you and your team will take off from the frontline defense grid and jump the wormhole from gxq Tar. To begin the investigation stay sharp i will and it froze and we're in hyper void here we go let's go don't even know what to expect uh while moving dashes i've got three weapons and then this is to move okay what have we got uh level one Cheers for saving. Right, here we go. Oh, what? What is this? Oh, this is weird. Kind of helping me. Okay. Oh, is that the first level done? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's trippy. Uh, what? So trippy this game. Trippy as. What are you doing to my face? Oh my god.
Here we go again. Christ, my eyes. Jesus, that is tr no wonder they say about it at the beginning. Jesus Christ. Oh, cheers. Alright, cheers to that. Oh, God. Oh, now I can play it in hyper mode, can I? saves every time. Why is it saving every time? Right, so we know what this game's. Right, anyway, that's a void hype of void. If you want to see more of this game and see me trip out some more, let me know in the comments below. I'm more than happy to try not to go up and represent the fit itself. Oh my god, the levels. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let's go on to the next game. Right, here is the next game. The next game is Tiny Soldiers Join Ups. So let's do the tutorial to see what the game is like. Okay. I've got to go there. What the hell is this? I see it here, okay. Okay. Incoming! Uh -huh. What is fire? Ah, oh, okay. Oh, the is fire. Ah, oh, so you slide down on the deep end. Ah, uh, so it's... There we go. Okay. Bye. Okay. Look at this. I'm <laughs> here. The kid in Waddle. I'm guessing it's up here. No? That's down this way. Then we go down here. Oh, there we go. Then the door's open. What the hell? Look at him go. Right. 
yes. The amount of trophies I'm getting on this PlayStation today. Well, now I know how to play it. Soldier or Spec Ops. So there you go, that's... I'll quickly do this one because this one's quite simple. It's just a normal top-down shooter. So let's get on to the next game and see how we get on. So the fourth and final game on the PS4 PlayStation, PS4 PlayStation on the PlayStation Plus this month is this one here. On the Unity engine, let's see. Color Guardians. See how we get on. New game. Normal. Never played it before. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Come on, Bubble Guardians, we got this. Where's all the colour gone? Okay. Is this like a Rayman ripoff? Oh wow. Uh Castle Run tutorial. Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, so you change colour for the different bubbles, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't... I d why is it... Okay, I'm going to use the D-pad from now on. So this is just a running game. Okay. Okay, so it's a running. Seems like a mobile game. It's on the PS4. Let's have a look. Let's see what. Let's give it another shot. Okay, here we go. easy with a d-pad that was lucky This, there we go. Ah, oh, almost three got three stars again because I missed a couple. 
Well, that has been the four three the four free games on the PlayStation Store this month for all you PlayStation Plus people out there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you want to see this again in January the new year. And thank you for watching and goodbye.